So many of us have been taken out of the game by our failures. We look at our failures, we look at our rejections, and we go, just who am I? So I just, I copied this a few years ago, and I just wanted to read it. I'll read three quickly. That failure is not fatal, and rejection is not death. In 1902, the poetry editor of the Atlantic Monthly returned a sheaf of poems to a 28-year-old poet with this curt note, quote, our magazine has no room for your vigorous verse. That's an editor saying, your stuff's not worthy of publication. In 1902, the Atlantic Monthly sent that note to the poet, Robert Frost. And he rejected the rejection. In 1905, the University of Bern turned down a PhD dissertation. If you've ever failed in school, you listen to this. In 1905, the University of Bern turned down a PhD dissertation as being irrelevant and fanciful. The young physics student who wrote the dissertation was Albert Einstein, who rejected the rejection. 1894, the rhetoric teacher at Harrow in England wrote on the 16-year-old's report card, quote, a conspicuous lack of success. Now, I just want to ask you, dad, mom, grandma, grandpa, you got that report card, and written over the report card is a conspicuous lack of success. How are you thinking about your kid's future? You probably still bra bragging your grandkid because that's what you do as a grandparent, but the truth is you're not feeling very good, right? Because a teacher said a conspicuous lack of success. Well, in 1894, when that happened in Harrow, England, the student that they wrote on that report card was Winston Churchill. Come on, folks. We are followers of the Most High God. He can take the stuff of our life, yep, the messes, and he can transform them into miracles by the gift of faith so that we live every day honoring the goodness of God and demonstrating his presence everywhere we go.